All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to tie some knots and their different uses. This is going to be a video for uh, my bush class series. I finished basic and I'm finally starting on intermediate. So this will be my first lesson for intermediate level <clears throat> of bush class through Bushcraft USA. So yeah, we're going to be tying some knots. Uh, the first one is going to be a knot called the clove hitch and it's good for starting like lashings and stuff like that. What you want to do is take your, your rope around your object, whatever it's going to be, and you actually want to just create kind of like an X over the top of it like this. Then your tag end right here, you want to take up through the middle of that X like that pull it tight dress it up and that is a clove hitch you can see the X here and then you take this up through it you pull it tight and there you go clove hitch we'll do that one more time you take your cord over top of your object, take it over top again, create that X. Then you take your tag end up through the middle of that X right here. Just like that. Pull it tight, dress it up. And there you have it, the clove hitch. Okay, next knot. Let me get this out of here. <clears throat> next knot is going to be a slip knot. For that, we're just going to take our, our line, create a loop in it, fold that loop over on itself, like that, pull the middle through, and there you have a slip knot. I didn't leave myself enough of a tag there. Let's redo that one quick. Okay, take that loop. When I do it, just give your finger a twist, and it'll roll right over on itself. Fold that up. And then you'll have that laying right through the middle. Grab that, pull it through that loop, and there you have a slip knot. Now the beauty of this one is you just pull it and it's gone. Now for bush class, we have to put a button through something, a button being just one of my lead balls here. Now pretend that this is, uh, let's say, a corner of your tarp, a tarp that either doesn't have tie outs or grommets or you've ripped one out. You put that button in there. And you take your slip knot, which I untied. Tie that in again real quick. Put that over top of your button. Tighten it down. Okay, that's that one. Uh, the next is a bowline. Really simple. Take your line. Again, put that loop in. Now this one, the way I learned it, was <clears throat> you make that loop, and we're going to call that the hole. This, your, your tag in here, is the rabbit. Rabbit comes out of his hole, 
runs around behind the tree and goes back down in his hole. And that is bowline knot. Real quick again, make your loop. Rabbit comes out of the hole behind the tree, back down into his hole, and there you have it. Now this one, super, super good knot. You can pull on that as hard as you want, and it's really easy to untie. Because this part right here, you just break that over, and it comes right out. Now the next one, I got to adjust the camera because it is a bowline tied with one hand, say in like a uh, rescue scenario where they lower the line down to you and you got to tie it around your waist. You're going to want a good strong knot so that it doesn't come undone. Let me get the camera moved and uh, we'll show you that one. Okay, so the bowline tied with one hand. And I hope I remember how to do this one. Okay, so you take it around your waist, holding it out in front of you like this. Here's tag end, here's working end, or standing end. You take it over the top, so you take this line over top this line. You bring it up through, twisting your hand as you do, so there you made your loop. Then you come around this one, the one that you're holding, you come around it, that's the tree, and then you bring it back through its hole. And there's the bowline tied with one hand. Alright, last knot is called Canadian Jam Knot. This is a, a great knot for uh, uh, binding things together, for, you know, building, uh, you know, shelters in the woods, or lashing things to your pack or using it as a compression style knot. Uh, you want to first take the end of your line and put just a straight regular overhand knot. Nothing fancy. Then right behind that put in another one but don't cinch that one down. Then you'll take the end of your cord come up through that second overhand knot and you're going to end up with, with something that looks let me get it in the camera something that looks like that go ahead and tighten that second one down and as you pull it you see that other one sliding well, it bites up against the second one that you tied in. You can really wrench that down. And it'll stay super, super tight. But to loosen it is super easy. You just grab that little tag in there and give it a pull, and it comes right out. Now, for uh, bush class, they want us to use it to compress on something. So let me get this untied here quick. Okay, I'm going to leave that first overhand knot in. Go ahead and put in my second overhand knot. And what I'll be compressing is my 10 by 10 tarp from Bushcraft Outfitters. So we'll just lay that on there, take our end, come up through that second overhand knot that we made that we didn't tighten down. I'm trying to get this centered a little bit.
Now it works with like a ratcheting effect. You pull it this way and then you can slide it back and pull it again and you can see that that compresses it pretty well. Loosen it up here a minute. Get it a little more centered if I can. My tarp's in here kind of funny. Now I have two other ones here that I already had made up. This I would just, you know, normally just wrap it around till we eat up all that extra cord so it ain't just flopping around all over the place. And then just, you know, tuck it under. Keeps it secured and out of the way. So then, like I said, these two I already had made up. But then we just do the same thing. And you could see how that's really wrenching down on that. And that'll stay like that until, like I said, you pull this tab and release the tension or the pressure, whatever you want to call it, off of the knot. I mean, this knot is, it, it's a great knot. It has a ton of uses. You know, strapping down cargo or whatever it is you want to use it for. But yeah, that's that's the Canadian Jam. Fantastic, fantastic knot. It is a definite good one to have in your arsenal of knowledge. So there you have it. Nice, compressed. Takes up less room that way keeps everything nice and secure all right so that is sorry about shaking the camera like that that is the last knot uh, for intermediate bush class I thank you guys for watching there will be more videos for bush class in the future so stay tuned thanks for watching everybody and take care